What's up guys, today is going to be a video about, you know, the red light, green light uh, from Squid Game. Because why not? I don't have anything else to do, and I think this is going to be perfectly fine. And it's surprisingly easy, so that's good, I guess. Um, I'm sorry for not uploading a video for like the past two weeks, but anyways, here's a video for this week. So I guess that's good. So, I have all the sprites prefer prepared. Now, the first one is the player, consisting of a green circle, because why not? And the counter goes 3, 2, 1, go. And this has victory came over. And the backdrop just has a field and a red line, because why not? Now, we'll start off with the player. It's super easy. Um, get when green flag is clicked, set size to whatever size you want, I say 75 is good, and we will set and rename this my variable to run, uh, why not, and we'll set run to true, meaning, you know, you can run without dying and stuff like that. Motion, go to 220 of x and 0 of y. Now when I receive, um, make a new message, you can name it start and control forever if key space is pressed we will change x by negative 2. Now what this will do is actually before that let's hide both these. Now if you start and hold space oh there's no broadcasting yet so i'll move it to the green flag if we hold space you see the character moving um so that's how that works and we will move on to the counter to actually start the game and be able to move after it starts so when green flag is clicked we will clear graphic effects and switch costume to three so these are named 3, 2, 1, and go, quite literally what it is. And we will control repeat two times. We will wait one second and then switch to next costume. Uh, we'll duplicate. Actually, we can just make that three and then get one second, broadcast start, and repeat 10 times change ghost effect by 10 and we can move on to the game over sprites and actually before we start coding uh we actually uh, okay so we have to show the sprite before we do anything okay so three and Oh, we have to make it 3, 2, and then go at the bottom. You have to put it in that order to be able to work. 3, 2, 1, go. So there you go. Now for the victory in game over, we'll actually come back to this uh, very, very last because it is part of the, you know, the very, very last part. Now, um, the thing about this is, you know, red light, green light. We want to be able to know when we can go and we when we have to stop. And I was thinking of using, you know, you know, display that shows red light and green light. But then I just got these three sounds um, from the thing. So. There you go. That's the first one. Now the other two is just this sped up. This is no two is a bit faster than one. Three is a bit faster than two. So as you can see, one is four point seven two seconds. Two is three point seven seven seconds. Three is uh three point one three seconds. So if I play it, it's very very fast. Um, so that's what we're gonna use. Um, I am gonna share this project so you guys can use these sound effects um yeah so 
Let's go to events. Get a one hour receive start. Control forever. And then, you know, the run variable. We are going to set run to true. And we're going to get an if else statement. And an equal sign. Pick a random 1 to 2 equals 1. Now we're going to get start sound 1 and start sound 2, start sound 3. Okay, now the reason why we can't use uh, start sound pick random 1, 2, 3, even though that should work somehow is because they all have different lengths of playtime, so we're gonna do 4.72, because the first one lasts for 4.72 seconds. Now the second one lasts for 3.77 seconds. The last one lasts for 3.13 seconds. So we have to do that. After that, we are gonna set run to Balls and wait two seconds. Now that's all good and all, but the sound does play, but the thing is you don't really, you know, the game doesn't end. There you go, you can still go when the thing is over, and I don't think we want that. So we will return to the player, and then we're going to add if equals run is false then we will broadcast a uh, game game over so we'll broadcast game over and that should be able to you know you won't be able to move so let's go the song is over if you move the game over will be broadcasted but there's no way for us to know yet because we don't have the vit victory and the game over sprite code at anything. So we'll move on to that. When green flag is clicked, let's show. And we will set ghost effect to 100. And we will events, game over, and victory. I mean, okay, we don't have the victory variable yet. So victory. And, um, Victory is costume 2, Game Over is costume 3, so switch to costume 3 and costume 2. Of course, it's easier when you actually name them the way it is. Like that. And, like, like that. So, that's good and all. Um, we're going to get control, repeat 10 change ghost effect by negative 10 and we can just duplicate that and put it there and now if we test it out yeah it says game over and i don't think we want that so now what we're gonna do is come to come back to player and add the victory so when we go somewhere near the line we actually win the game or you know that wouldn't really be fair if we can't win the game whatever we do so get make that less than and then go get x position is less than negative 200 as you can see the player's current position is negative 202 and is about I would say enough uh, for it to count as a pass for me. You can't make it that you have to completely cross over the line and then the game is over. Now for that to happen, um, it's going to be about negative 230, but maybe I'll just do that anyways. Okay, so that's good and all. But there is another problem. When you start the game and then go, uh, 
uh, you'll die, but your characters keep on moving, and you go over, and, oh, you have to change that over to victory, by the way. So we'll restart. So if we go, and then the game's over, but you can still move and touch the line and become victory. And I don't think we want that. I don't, definitely. So it's going to be simple to fix it. You're just going to add a stop all after the game over. And that's how you basically make the red light and green light. So yeah, there you go. Super simple. Um, if you guys liked it, hit that subscribe and like button. If you didn't, hit the subscribe and the like button. And if you want to watch how to make uh, Tug of War, um, you can definitely comment that you do. So I'll be back the next week. See you.